Whaling and sealing are evocative subjects today. Extensive media coverage of the actions of environmental groups have brought the world's attention to the plight of seals and the great whales in a way that would have been incomprehensible when Murrayforth ports sent ships to the hunting grounds. The attitudes and actions of the 19th century were vastly different from those of the 21st. Hunting was a popular sport, and whales were seen as a valuable commodity rather than a fellow species deserving of conservation. To the Greenlandmen, the mariners who sailed the ships and hunted the whale in the waters of the Greenland Sea and the Davis Strait, whaling was a job. It may have been tinged with romance and spiced with adventure, but essentially it provided a wage that paid the rent and clothed and fed the family. At its peak in the 1850s, nine whaling and sealing vessels sailed from the Murrayforth ports. That was a significant percentage of the Scottish total, and the Arctic adventure certainly contributed to the local economy. The mid-19th century was an exciting time to be alive, with the destitution years of the hungry forties past and innovation, enterprise and confidence blossoming. The coast of the Murray Firth was no exception, with new ventures being considered and sealing was suddenly on the agenda as a commercial possibility. The Victorians had a zest for life, and the Murrayforth ports entered the Arctic trade as if it was a great adventure. Commercialism tinged with the sheer joy of trying something new. Whatever one's feelings for the rights or wrongs of hunting seals and whales, there can be no denying the raw courage the seamen needed to venture into the iced waters of the north in a small sail-powered vessel, never knowing what tomorrow would bring never knowing if they would return home to their wives and children. Three ports of the Murray Forth sent ships north, Fraserburgh, Banff and Nairn. While Inverness toyed with the idea and Garmouth and Lossiemouth had tentative connections, of the three, Fraserburgh was the most successful, with Banff next and Nairn not really getting anywhere. This small book will show something of the sealing and whaling industries of the Murray Forth coast, it will start with a brief look at the Murray Coast, then give an overview of the industry. There is a chapter giving what could be a typical voyage, followed by a chapter on sealing, the Nairn and Banff experience. A brief look at the dangers the whaling men faced, and two chapters on Fraserburgh's time as a sealing and whaling port. Finally, there are lists of ships from Banff and Fraserburgh. When this book was first compiled, it was intended to give end notes for every detail, but the end result was a text littered with numbers that made reading a chore. It was decided to write a free-flowing book instead, easier to read and with the main sources mentioned within the text. The book gives anecdotes, names and a few details. It is not intended to justify an industry that is today in public disfavour, nor is it in any degree an exhaustive study but it should sketch the outline of a time when Fraserburgh and Banff sent hardy men to the hunting grounds of the Arctic Circle.